Ah! I'm gonna attack by a wisp. Um, hi guys, welcome back to, uh, to my, my Let's Play. This episode I want to get get into some Thomcraft stuff, uh, and it's good good thing that this guy showed up because uh, um, he's part of Thomcraft, and he is really annoying. I hate it when these these guys do it, but this thing was a result of me being, being careless with my Thomcraft. Um, but yeah, he uh, he what he does is he he just shoots a bunch of lightning at you. When whenever you kill him, he makes that cool particle effect. And drops this wispy essence. And um, like I said, that was a result of me being careless with my Thomcraft stuff. And that's because uh, whenever you basically whenever you do something with uh, Thomcraft, um, you will create something called taint. Or I'm sorry, flux. Flux is basically if you're used to Thomcraft two, uh, it's basically the taint of this. And so there's multiple ways you could use that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to store that wispy essence. Um, you can see I've gotten gotten a few of these already. Um, three, three types looks like. Yep. And um, that thing spawned from a, a, a node, which is basically the what what recharges the the aura. Um, if we go outside here, uh, this is a thermometer. This basically detects where a node is, where the nearest node is, and uh, it looks like there's one like right up here. Right. There, which is kind of kind of kind of cool because I didn't know that when I built this here, and uh, when I got this out, I'm trying to find the nearest node just to see where it's at. It was like right here, and it was kind of kind of cool. I didn't I didn't expect it to be one that close, but uh, whenever you do stuff with uh, with magic, like create something out of the crucible, which is what this is, or uh, create something with this is what I've been doing recently, but. I'm sure it's not the only thing that I've been doing. Um, you will create something called Flux, and uh, it will basically drain the aura out out of that node wherever it's at, and it will create the flux. And uh, whenever you have too much flux, it will start spawning those wisps. Or um, I think I had a, a an, like an enlarged brainy zombie, which is basically a zombie with uh, red eyes. I don't know if it has any extra. Like abilities or whatever, but um, still, they're, they're they spawn it, and since it's so close to my base right here, it's uh, it can be kind of uh, kind of troublesome. So I've been kind of collecting from my my chest right here, which is the recycler chest, um, and I've been getting quite a bit of gold from it, some batteries, some uh, pretty cool stuff, and I'm about ready to sneeze again. And it's gone. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. Let me throw some of my crap in here. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you right now what the what I was talking about with the with the minecarts. Or I might have showed you that last time too. Not sure. Anyway, you're going to see it now. Whenever you smelt a uh, a minecart in an alloy furnace, you get five iron. Bam. Like that. Pretty simple. Easy way to get iron. Um, got some gold. And the cool thing about these um, um, thermal expansion uh, um, items is that if you're to throw, say, gold ore in here, it's going to be uh, thrown out of this hopper into this. And the cool thing is, once it's done smelting, it'll be on automatically go into the powered furnace that's directly beside it. So there it goes into the pulverizer. Yeah, like I said, it destroys it and then goes into the thing, then it goes into here, it destroyed one, so we have two in here right now, now one, and smelt in that last one, and they went in here, we'll see this one going up, right there, yeah, so it's uh, pretty cool if you ask me, uh, so um, biggest thing right now is, uh, actually I probably shouldn't mention this, uh, I'll be honest, I cheated this in, to the Forge Lexicon, this is the only thing I cheated in, and I, I just figured, you know, I just don't really want to have to worry about stacking these um, because there's different types of copper in this this game so if I were to uh, choose the correct type of, of um, copper I can just come over here and uh, make them stack easily see how that one went up uh, instead of having two different types I just thought it'd be good so I just said oh well I think it's kind of kind of crappy that there's uh, multiple types so and this is actually supposed to have only one, but they, uh, 
I, I don't think they really took into account the recyclers, and that's how I've been getting my my different type of copper and tin, I think. So, um, actually, I think I do have some some multiple types of tin in here as well. So I can probably show you a little bit better. So here's uh, here's the thermal expansion stuff. That's the stuff that I'm supposed to be getting. Uh, see if I have any in here. It's lead, tin, right there. Um, so this is the stuff I've been getting from the the recyclers, and this is the stuff that you find naturally in the world with uh, this current pack. So if you put it in there, you want to be able to find uh, this type right here, and it looks like that's it, and it'll automatically turn it into that same type. So I should be able to stack these. Yes, cool. Now you can just throw them back in here. But yeah, that's the only thing I'm ever going to cheat into this world, so don't uh, don't worry about it uh, too much. But just yeah, I didn't get that legitly. It's one thing I didn't. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just creating these things called warded jars, which are basically uh, storage units for something called uh, essence, uh, which you can get with uh, if you if you hold like shift over one of these things, you can see that these little symbols come up. Uh, this one has an eye and like this plant-like thing, um, and it has a number by it that shows you how much essence is in each one of these carrots. Um, if I were to come over here to cobblestone, it'll show you that it has these two symbols, and it doesn't have a number, so that means there's only one. Um, but yeah, I need to be really careful while I'm doing this because this aura node right here is probably getting pretty, pretty, uh, dangerously, uh, corrupted, I guess I could say. But, um, what you can do with these warded jars, once I, I'm going to get some of these over here, is you can put them by, uh, something, it's like some type of, um, uh, I don't know, it's a connection. I'm pretty new to, to Thomcraft 3, so I, I don't know exactly know ex what to do, but um, you can put them on top or beside something's called... Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, they're little... I'm not sure exactly. If, if you come over here and look through them, I could probably find them. There's quite stuff to look through. Um, where's the Thomcraft stuff? Right there. Okay, found them. Um, these markers. There we are. If we put them by these markers, they will, um, so, something called golems will be able to automatically fill these up. So, um, now that we have some, some jars there, I can put some, uh, put a crucible over here or whatever, and have these golems come over here and fill these up automatically. So, it's, um, going to be pretty much... An automated process. Once I get those, once I get the golems, golemancy or whatever however you pronounce that, um, once ever I get that, whenever I get that done. So, um, and I'm researching that right now, but I can't figure out what the other stuff is. So, um, I've already, I guess I haven't tried this, but I'm sure it's not. Yeah, but you you can see how this fractus uh, symbol kind of darkened uh, whenever I click this button a lot, and that's because it just shows you that Fractus isn't doing anything and, and might as well not, not even do it, so uh, it kind of blackens that, so y it, you know that don't do not do that anymore, because it's not, not useful. Uh, seeds are a great way of getting permutatio, or however you pronounce that, um, but I don't really have a lot of that, so uh, I, have, I have a few in here. Oh, this one. And... Uh, if I put this in here, I don't know if it's going to work, but nope. So those those two essences right there are not used in Golemancy right here. And it gives you a little bit of a description right here. It says, your studies into animation, motion, and living creatures is beginning to bear fruit. If you are, or you are sure you can harness this power, you should be able to create your own servants, your own magical servants, which are golems. And um, if you watch Direwolf's Let's Plays, you'll, you, or mul multiplayer Let's Plays, you, sh you should have been able to see those. I always do that. So it goes in this one. Um, so I've tried it with Glowstone and Redstone as well, and, and it's not those. So I'm not sure what I need to be doing with that one. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But it's they're pretty cool, cool little things. And uh, there's something right below me. And you, if you don't know, I, I, I was able to tell that there's something below me because of uh, um, this raised mini map that's up here whenever I close out. It has like these little 
symbols, like you'll see one that's like right there. Uh, that real red dot basically tells you if uh, there's some enemy or something. So if I come over here, check around, uh, looks like he's either above me or below me. So I'm going to check above me. If he's below me, I don't care. These carrots are awesome. Like, I have so many of them, just naturally, whatever. Um, come on, over here. This jetpack kind of sucks to go up a little stairs, but it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Thought I just saw a wisp. Nope. Apparently not. I could swear I saw one. Just, I guess I'm going crazy. Never mind. But uh, yeah, there's a little bug I've been finding with these trees, and if it, that's if you get a, uh, if you chop one little log down or whatever, if if it's a little bit too far away from from whatever whatever wood, it, I mean it, it won't do anything. Like if it's connected to this leaf or whatever, um, say if I were to chop this tree down. Uh, and it's connected to this, these leaves over here won't go, and if I chop down a whole forest, but there's one log left, that whole forest won't, won't go down if they're all connected. It's kind of annoying, but... Oh well. It's something I can do with, deal with. Deal with, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, I'm sure the, the flux is getting pretty bad right now, because I've just been creating these jars. Uh, three more. So I don't know exactly what I need to uh, to do that. So I, I've tried magic, and a good source of magic that I found also involves uh, um, using this magic stuff, and that's using rotten flesh. And since I have that that nice spawner, uh, I have plenty of that. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. But the problem is, it's you create a lot of flux really fast. So uh, let me just put seven in here show you guys. This is a good way that I found to uh, to make this magic uh, stuff. This little, that little wand symbol. Uh, you can use this magic towel. Towel, towel though, not towel. Um, and you just put put uh, some rotten flesh or whatever that has that, that meat symbol or whatever that with the bone in it. Um, you throw it in your crucible and uh, use your wand on it. You right click and it will make that magic tallow. And then you put in that magic tallow. I think I already tried it. Yep. Um, that prey... I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that. But, uh, yeah, it, it's. I found it to be a rather good source of that. Instead of using your uh, your crystals or whatever. Because, I mean, you, those can be kind of rare. Um, kind of rare. I'm not saying they're impossible to find. but um, So I'm going to make some of these markers. I'm going to make white, since I'm sure that uses bone meal. Nope, just regular wool. Um, which I can get this. Oh, I need to figure out how to make this too. I think I need to research it. But, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what the golems use to pick it up, as well as uh, some types of jars that are included in Thomcraft. Um, uh, I forgot to time how far... Uh, how long I was recording for, but uh, I'll just check the, the, the recording time right now and, and see if I have time to do this this episode or next episode. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I came back and uh, I realized I have a few minutes left to, uh, to before I need to wrap up this episode. And um, I found out that these things are actually pretty easy to, to, uh, to, to do, and it's just this crafting recipe in a normal crafting table, or in this case, I have it in a project table. It's a little bit easier. Um, and you use wool, but that's okay. That's simple. Just use some string or shear some sh shear some sheep. That's a tongue twister. So uh, what you can do with these is, uh, if, I, if I know about this correctly, um, I can put these next to those bottles that I just the jars I just created, um, these ones right here, uh, for, and put them near the, um, I forget what that thing's called, the, the big thing in the middle, uh, let's see here, yeah, it's not saying here either, but it's this thing, if you put it near this thing, it will, uh, 
it'll show up and it'll tell you um, that there's well, it won't tell you. It'll, it'll basically say that uh, you can. I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. <laughs> Yikes. And uh, I'm not sure if the corners will work or not, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I hope you can break these like this. Yes, cool. Um, so I am going to not do it that way. Is that a visual bug or what? Like, it looks a little bit weird. But uh, either way, I'm going to just put this right here. Like that. And put these off to the side like that. There we go. So it's uh, symmetrical. That's cool. Um, and I still haven't seen that wisp. I, I think I am going crazy. But uh, yeah, here we are. And... We can just put jars on top of these as well. And uh, apparently the golems should be able to um, put stuff on top of those. And then I can use that essence that's put in those jars inside this table. And use whatever crafting recipe I need. And I can craft them. So that'll be cool. And uh, about ready to sneeze again. Man, I hate colds. Um, wow. Yeah. That was a powerful sneeze I was, thought was coming, but it never did, so hooray. Maybe I'm getting better. So uh, let's see what the, what's this one's giving us. Some tin. That's cool. Uh, leather. That's always useful. Uh, rubber. Getting a lot of cakes, which I don't really need. But I guess, I guess you can never have too much cake until you get fat or whatever, but uh, yeah this in here, yeah, and then throw my, my thaumometer in here. The reason I'm really trying to work on this thaumcraft stuff is to get something called it Goggles of Revealing. That will be a, worn as a helmet, and I really want to see the node that's right around here, see exactly where it's at, um, but I'm pretty sure that I need one of those uh, cool tables that is over yonder, over there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my... Oh, man right here. And this is the Thomnomicon interface. Interface. It looks pretty dang sweet if you ask me. Um, you can, there's some silverwood trees over somewhere, so I need to go grab those. And I'll probably get those by next, uh, next episode, but I'll probably do it in between. But they're, they will probably help out the, the flux and stuff around here. I'm not sure exactly what they do in Thomcraft 3, but if they're anything like they do in Thumbcraft 2, that's what they do. So, um, here's the goggles we're feeling. And this is the, I have all the stuff I need, but we need, uh, we need to put it in an infusion altar. That's what it's called. And, um, put this crafting recipe in there. We need 60 Vs, and we need some magic, uh, some Visium, and Mutato. And I call it, call it magic just because it's one of the, the notes beside it. So, Yeah. So I can get this from carrots. I can get this from uh, nether wart, I think, and this from that um, stuff that I made. The what's it called? Magic tallow. That's it. So that should be pretty easy. I'm not entirely sure exactly the best way to do it, but I really need to get it on uh, trying to figure out how to make a uh, whatever it's called. This thing, the arcane m m l Alembic, or something like that. There are some strange words in this, this mod, but it's pretty fun. Uh, Alright, so I think I'm I'm past the wrapping up point, but I got those uh, those markers down, and uh, I should wrap up right here. And uh, next time I'll have some, some trees to, uh, to show you guys. So, um, yeah, this is me signing off. Have a great day. Bye.